d4. Knight f6. c4. g6. Knight c3. Bishop g7. e4. d6. f3. Knight c6. An unorthodox and provocative move order. Until the early 1980s Kasparov usually countered the Samish variation with the Knight c6 system. Later, he gradually shifted to the classical. 5. Castle kingside. 6. Bishop e3. e5. Bishop e3. White resists the temptation and calmly continues his development. Chasing the knight with 6 d5 knight e5 7 f4 exposes white's center and gave black sufficient counterplay after 7 knight e d7 8 knight f3 castle kingside 9. Bishop d3. c6. 10. Castle kingside. Knight c5. 11. Bishop c2. Queen b6. 12. King h1. Bishop g4. 13. Rook b1. c takes d5. 14. c takes d5. Rook a, c8. 15. Bishop e3. Queen b4. In Yusupov Spassky, Linares 1983. a6. Queen d2. After. 7. Knight g e2. Black can still postpone castling with. 7. Rook b8. An attempt to exploit this with. 8. Knight c1. e5. 9. d5. Knight d4. 10. Bishop takes d4. e takes d4. 11. Queen takes d4. Castle kingside. 12. Queen d2. c5. 13. A4. Knight h5. Gave black excellent compensation with his unopposed dark squared bishop in Korchnoi Kasparov, Leningrad 1975. Our game is further proof that early on Kasparov knew and could creatively apply typical king's Indian motifs. Rook b8. Rook b1. White also puts off his kingside development. He reasons he can make a few useful moves before resorting to the rather cumbersome maneuver knight ge2, c1, when often a further move. Knight 1e2. Or. Knight b3. Is required to get rid of black's d4 knight. Opusian also clearly indicates he is not interested in a tactical slugfest with opposite side castling, although this is a dangerous test of black setup. Kasparov has later given up the whole system. Presumably due to 8. Knight g e2. Castle kingside. 8. b5. 9. c takes b5. a takes b5. 10. d5. Knight e5. 11. Knight d4. B4. 12. Knight C B5. Costs black a pawn, and it's hard to see any adequate compensation. 9. H4. However, current theory still rates. 9. H5. As unclear. Castle kingside. B4. White continues the strategy outlined in the previous note. This, however, allows Kasparov to lash out. 
The main move. 9. Knight g e2. Is more circumspect and objectively better. Recent practice after the logical follow-up. 9. b5. 10. c takes b5. a takes b5. 11. b4. e5. 12. d5. Knight e7. 13. Knight g3. Has favored white, so black should probably look for earlier improvements. e5. Although this is a standard king's Indian move, Kasparov played it only after 25 minutes of thought. However, he invested his precious time well, and calculated most of the following tactical sequence. Although objectively black can't claim an advantage after the text move, psychologically it proves too difficult for white to adapt to the sharp increase in tension. d5 Consistent, but even now white could have played it safe. 10. Knight g e2 e takes d4 11. Knight takes d4 is approximately equal Knight d4 Knight g e2 White sensibly doesn't even consider giving up his important bishop with 11. Bishop takes d4 e takes d4 12. Knight c e2. Knight h5. Here black's initiative is even stronger than in the similar position in the note to move 7. But how does black justify his concept now? c5. 11. Knight takes e2. 12. Bishop takes e2. Gives white a clear-cut queenside initiative, so the pawn sacrifice is not only consistent, but also more or less forced. D takes c6. B takes c6. White is better after. 12. Knight takes c6. 13. Bishop g5. Knight takes d4. White obviously can't allow the knight to remain on d4. Although, 13. Bishop takes d4. e takes d4. 14. Knight takes d4. Wins a tempo by attacking c6. Black's tactical chances after. 14. Queen b6. Give him excellent compensation to say the least. E takes d4. Bishop takes d4. Rook e8. A clever preparatory move, which maintains the tension. Now white has to reckon with both. c5. And. d5. The immediate. 14. c5. 15. b takes c5. Knight takes e4. 16. F takes e4. Queen h4 check. Is premature. 1. The safe move is. 17. King d1. Rook takes b1 check. 18. Knight takes b1. Queen takes e4. 19. Bishop takes g7. Queen takes b1 check. 20. Queen c1. Bishop g4 check. 21. King d2. Queen takes c1 check. 21. Queen takes a2 check. 22. Queen b2. 22. King takes c1. King takes g7. 23. C takes d6. Rook d8. 24. C5. Rook c8. 25. Bishop takes a6. 
Rook takes c5 check. 26. King b2. Rook c6. 27. Bishop b5. Rook takes d6. 28. King c3. After a series of forced moves white has an outside passed pawn and a better endgame. 2. Inspiration for more adventurous types is 17. King e2. Rook takes b1. 17. Bishop g4 check. 18. King d3. Bishop takes d4. 19. Rook takes b8. Rook takes b8. 20. King takes d4. And with the knight coming to d5, there is nothing decisive in sight. 18. Bishop takes g7. King takes g7. After. 18. Bishop g4 check. 19. King d3. Rook takes f1. 20. Rook takes f1. King takes g7. 21. C takes d6. Queen takes h2. 22. King c2. White's king is safe. 19. Queen d4 check. 19. Knight takes b1. Queen takes e4 check. 20. King f2. Queen takes b1. 21. Queen d4 check. King g8. 22. C takes d6. Rook d8. Is dangerous. 19. King g8. 20. Knight takes b1. D takes c5. 21. Queen e3. Rook d8. 22. Knight d2. And again white should be able to untangle gradually with his extra piece. Bishop e2. With his lag in development white must tread extremely carefully. Although the text move is not an outright blunder, it nevertheless plays into black's hands. Other moves were. 1. A computer-like idea is. 15. b5. When black should play. 15. a takes b5. 15. d5. 16. c takes d5. c takes d5. 17. Bishop takes f6. Queen takes f6. 18. Knight takes d5. Rook takes e4 check. Is best refuted by. 19. Bishop e2. 16. C takes b5. d5. White's king is in danger, for example. 17. Bishop e2. d takes e4. 18. Bishop a7. Queen a5. 19. Bishop takes b8. e3. With a raging attack. 2. The prudent. 15. Bishop d3. d5. 16. e5. Knight d7. 17. f4. f6. Allows black to regain his pawn with an unclear position. c5. b takes c5. White is consistent. 16. Bishop e3. c takes b4. 17. Knight d5. Knight takes d5. 18. Queen takes d5. Bishop e6. Gives black the initiative. 
He also has a pleasant position after. 16. Bishop takes f6. Bishop takes f6. 17. Castle kingside. 17. Knight d5. Bishop d4. Is dangerous for white. 17. C takes b4. 18. Knight d5. a5. Knight takes e4. With this sacrifice Kasparov's major pieces explode into action. F takes e4. Queen h4 check. G3. A shot propulsion immediately goes wrong. After this move the game is beyond saving. Let us look at the alternatives. 1. 18. King d1. Rook takes b1 check. 19. Knight takes b1. Queen takes e4. 20. Bishop takes g7. 20. Queen d3. Queen takes g2. 21. Rook g1. Queen h2. And. White can't meet all the threats such as. Bishop takes d4. d takes c5. And. Bishop f5. 20. Queen takes b1 check. 21. Queen c1. Queen takes c1 check. 22. King takes c1. King takes g7. Followed by. d takes c5. Converting black's healthy extra pawn into victory is a straightforward technical task. 2. 18. Bishop f2. Is stronger. Now. 18. Bishop takes c3. 19. Bishop takes h4. Rook takes b1 check. 20. King f2. Bishop takes d2. 21. Rook takes b1. d takes c5. 22. Rook b8. Or. 22. d3. Leads to an approximately equal position. 3. 11 years later, this position again arose in practice and white chose the circumspect. 18. King f1. Rook takes b1 check. 19. Knight takes b1. Queen takes e4. 20. Bishop takes g7. Queen takes b1 check. 21. Queen d1. 21. Bishop d1. King takes g7. 22. C takes d6. Rook e6. 23. Queen d4 check. Rook f6 check. 24. King g1. Queen b4. Regains the pawn advantageously. 21. Queen f5 check. 22. Bishop f3. King takes g7. 23. C takes d6. The resulting position is drawish, for example. 23. Queen e5. 23. Bishop e6. 24. Queen d4 check. King g8. 25. King f2. Queen c2 check. 26. King g3. Can only favor white, Quigley Henry, Chicago Open 1987. 24. King f2. 24. g4. Is weaker. 24. Rook d8. 25. Queen d5. 
Queen f4. 24. Queen e3 check. 25. King g3. h5. 26. h4. And black seems to have nothing more than a perpetual. Rook takes b1 check. King f2. 19. Knight takes b1. Queen takes e4. Is now out of the question for white. Rook b2. Black moves one of the two attacked pieces with decisive effect, leaving white an exchange down. It's quite probable Kasparov foresaw this resource as far back as when he made his ninth move, as white's reactions are all very natural. An impressive feat, at the age of 13 probably comparable only with the brilliancy D. Burn Fisher, New York 1956. G takes H4. Forced, since. 20. Queen takes B2. Loses on the spot to. 20. Bishop takes D4 check. Rook takes D2. Bishop takes g7. King takes g7. King e3. Rook c2. King d3. Rook takes c3 check. Just as in game 1, Kasparov prefers a clear technical solution to the messy complications that might arise if he were to allow white to play, c takes d6. King takes c3. D takes c5. White's passive pieces and shattered pawns make the endgame untenable despite temporary material equality. Bishop d3. Bishop b7. Rook e1. White's activity quickly peters out after. 26. Rook b1. Bishop takes e4. 27. Rook b6. Bishop takes d3. 28. King takes d3. Rook e6. Rook e5. Blockade and then destroy. Black doesn't trouble himself with lines such as. 26. f5. 27 e5, bishop e4, 28, bishop takes e4, rook takes e5, 29, king d3, and first stops the e-pawn in its tracks. Now, f5, is a real threat. a4, passive defense with, 27. Rook e2. Rook h5. 27. f5. Is premature. 28. e takes f5. Rook takes e2. 29. f6 check. 28. e5. 28. Rook b2. Bishop c8. 28. Bishop c8. Is just as hopeless, white will lose at least a pawn and won't even get rid of all his weaknesses. f5. Rook b1. Bishop takes e4. Rook b6. f4. Kasparov's passed pawn simply marches on and any counterplay on the queen side is far too slow. Rook takes a6. f3. Bishop f1. Bishop f5. Black threatens rook e1. The f pawn is unstoppable and will cost white at least a piece. Rook a7 check. King h6. King d2. f2. Bishop e2. Bishop g4. 
Bishop d3. Rook e1. Rook f7. Bishop f5. a5. Bishop takes d3. Rook takes f2. Rook f1. Black forces an exchange of rooks, after which the bishop stops the a-pawn from g2, 